Today I wrote some stuff down. I watched my videos and they kind of go all over the place like I'm doing the weave. So he's talking about his hair. Why has nobody said that? Trump keeps saying he's doing the weave, the weave, the weave. I'm like, he's, his hair has a weave in it. <laughs> he's like almost completely bald and he's got like all these extensions in his hair and stuff. And it's so sad. He's 78. Just let it go, man. And he thinks that makes him better suited to be president. I don't know. But it, the, the weave isn't a thing. And he doesn't know a single English professor. But I went to college. Oh, <clears throat> So yesterday I was wearing my Vote for Kamala t-shirt. I'm hoping I get getting this in full in the frame for once. And I didn't run into any Trump supporters yesterday. Uh, but I, <laughs> I did walk by Dialogue Cafe, uh, which is like, I think, Sunset in Holloway. It's always so busy. And I was walking through the sidewalk there and this uh, Hispanic waiter came up behind me and was like, Kamala, vote for Kamala. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, go Kamala. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I was walking and I said, how did you say, how do you say that in Spanish? And he's like, just say Kamala. <laughs> and I'm like, go Kamala. <laughs> but whatever. It uh, seems to be Everybody seems to be doing good with the uh, Hispanic waiter vote on the Harris team. So that's not a poll. That's just a, a an anecdote. But before I start doing the weave, <clears throat> yesterday I compared voting to picking up dog shit. That's inaccurate. No one likes picking up dog shit. It just, it's something you do so no one else steps in shit. There's a metaphor there. If you're apathetic to voting, you should just do it anyway. There should inherently be joy and pride in voting. There's something sacred about it too. Like communion. People line up and they take their turn at the altar of democracy. Instead of consuming wine and wafers, we give a piece of ourselves, our minds, our hearts, our souls. We leave our wallets in the hands of elected officials too, and our physical safety. Our, America has a huge military, uh, but we 9-11 was the first attack on American soil since Pearl Harbor. And I had to look that up. Hawaii, which is where Pearl Harbor is located, uh, wasn't a state until 1959. <laughs> Does that count? I mean, we really, uh, you know, stole that land and turned it into a target for war. And uh, as far as 9-11 goes, we also bought Manhattan for some beads. I put an asterisk on that because I looked some stuff up too. I'll mention that at the end. Capitalism made Manhattan a target. U.S. foreign policy made the Pentagon a target on 9-11. Uh, this kind of jumps around. I'm sorry. This is journaling. It just sort of, it's stream of consciousness writing. Uh, I go out with my ukulele mostly for the exercise at this point. Uh, I play ukulele for tourists for tips uh, to raise money for a trip to Australia to be in a movie. So, uh, Yesterday, I only made $8 <laughs> for a two-hour walk. I wear my Vote for Kamala t-shirt uh, to campaign on the street level. Where was I? 
I like baiting Trump's Trump voters into a conversation. I've spoken to three black men who are dedicated to voting for Trump because of the economy. Trump isn't going to help the economy. He's going to make everything worse. Mexico never paid for that wall. <laughs> now he doesn't say it anymore. They really believed that. I feel bad for them. Believing the lies and delusions of others is contagious, is, is a contagious mental illness. Folly of millions. A delusion is an adherence to a false reality and a dedication to that lie. A lie is a false reality you tell yourself. It's not your fault you're broke. It's those immigrants. <laughs> That's Trump's whole campaign. And the truth is immigrants improve communities. That's reality, accept it. They actually commit less crimes because they like it here and they don't wanna be sent back. Same reason they work so hard too. They wanna stay useful and live the American dream. Just like all of us, we are truly a nation of immigrants. I don't care if that's cliche, it's true. We should be more welcoming of people who want to make our country better. That's reality. So racists, who hurt you? Seriously, when did this all start? Did your grandpa drop N-bombs at the dinner table or was there a black kid who stole your girl in high school? Let's find a root to the hatred so we can tear it up like the useless stump of a dead old tree. You'll feel better, I promise. I vote with reason, logic, joy, and the promise of a better future. Some people vote with anger. You know why? Anger gets you high. There's a surge of energy that always accompanies rage. I'm no different. <laughs> I wake up in the morning, I take my psych meds, drink coffee and green smoothies while watching the news just to get mad at the New Day's Republican shenanigans. Truly, if you're not angry about something, you're not paying attention. That, that's another cliche that I adhere to. That can't be our only emotion motivating our votes. I'm enlivened by watching Kamala's speeches and Trump will eventually acquiesce into another debate. Uh, he can't back down from the challenge. I'm a little surprised that his base isn't calling for another debate. They love a good fight. Even when their fighter loses control and starts screaming about eating cats and dogs. How can anyone think he won that debate? I, she, she rattled him so hard. He will never recover from that narcissistic injury. Now he's got to do it again and he is terrified. Like a chicken headed for the chopping block. <laughs> this is going to be a good, good show. <laughs> she will crush him again and he will think he won at the ballot box too. He will think he won always. And so will a lot of his base. It's going to fall apart for a lot of them too. Hopefully soon. All right, asterisk about Manhattan. Manhattan Island was sold for $24 worth of beads and trinkets, according to basically common knowledge. There's no bill of sale. It's just based on a letter about the Dutch colonist who bought it. And the Dutch beaver traders took over the land from unknown.